Hello everyone, this is Chef Good Choice. Today, I will react to another, another KFC video. There are so many KFC video, I mean, Korean fried chicken on YouTube, much more than other Korean foods. So, today KFC video is from Arwan Hussef. Do I pronounce right? Arwan Hussef. If I'm wrong, I apologize. So, he is chef, born in Philippines. Oh, he's half Filipino and half French and got celebrity sisters and become influencer, internet businessman, and restaurant owner. Pretty big person. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself watching a TV show and thinking, oh, that looks so good? Hey, look at the small baby. Hello. But whether or not you are a fan of K-drama, you have to admit that their food I sequences are drama. I want you a cooking video. Fierce. Anna and I recently finished Crash Landing on You, which is kind of like Romeo and Juliet, but instead of Capulets and Montagues, you have uh, two star-crossed lovers from North and South Korea. Spoiler alert, no, they don't commit uh, mutual suicide at the end. Mutual suicide? Romantic drama and suicide? By the way, I didn't watch this drama. What kind of Korean drama kills main character? Okay, I'm not a big fan of Korean drama, honestly. But other people don't like their favorite character die in the drama. That's not a money-making story, right? You know, Korean drama rule. So if you watch Korean drama and... Oh, he's handsome. Or... Oh, she's beautiful. They don't die. That is the rule. But don't worry, I'm not gonna die in this video, even I'm not handsome. That is too romantic music for fried chicken video. Sometimes you will see the same restaurant featured across multiple shows. Wait, wait. BBQ chicken. Ah, BBQ chicken. One of famous chicken brand in Korea since 1995. I think it has 1,800 venue around the world. And apparently, I can see this chicken company sponsor this drama and continuously showing their chicken as PPR. No matter it's really related to story or not. Well, it's all about the money, right? And I think great job. Look at this. This YouTuber is not Korean, living in overseas and making this video, cooking that chicken. And there are more videos from other YouTubers. This is good marketing, which I need for my channel. Yeah. So if you take a close look to their table here, there's this fried chicken. And then there's another chicken here and it's glazed. Look at those ridges and how perfectly fried that looks. And if you're hearing lots of screams and giggles in the back, it's my newborn baby who just seems to love it when I speak the camera and talks over me. I understand, mate. I was in the same stage. This particular chicken scene seems to be showing us bone-in chicken, and after some research, I found that originally in South Korea, all the bits and ends of the chickens were used for fried chicken. Wait, so he never made this chicken before, and this is first time? Hmm, dangerous, but interesting. I don't have much hope for this video, actually. So I'm gonna do one version with a whole chicken that I will break down into about 20 pieces. If you want more drumsticks and thighs, you can always get a few more and section them out. For the drumsticks, I like making little slits down the middle. Slit open, smart. Cook. Just be careful because it's double fried, easily overcooking and make it dry. Season the chicken, very simple, some salt, salt black pepper, pepper, and vodka. And... What? Did he put the vodka? Vodka. What are you making? Drunken chicken? Not KFC? Traditionally, most recipes obviously will use soju, but putting alcohol in marinades generally helps season the meat better and is a great vehicle for flavor. Don't worry, once cooked, the alcohol content will be gone completely. This gets covered up and placed in the fridge for at least six hours. Okay, right. Usually use soju or cooking sake, but vodka has much higher alcohol in it, about 40%. But soju only has 20%, and cooking sake has 13 to 14% only. It's like double or triple amount. Yes, even alcohol evaporates. How about taste? Double or triple stronger than soju or sake. Remains on the chicken. Better use a little bit and mix with the water. Next, for the flour mix. For fried chicken, always season your flour. It makes all the difference. After searching some Korean language chicken videos online... Wait, he study even different language video? Means he watch original recipe from real Korean. He studied... I feel like falling in love with this guy. First time I saw on the YouTube, some chef studying Korean cooking. Not just use gochujang and say... Oh, this is Korean food. Mm. Quick tip when making foreign food, 
always look for recipes that are in that language of origin, I find that the recipes that you'll find will always be a bit more precise and authentic. So after searching, I found but that a lot powder of those recipes call for- If you make Korean fried chicken, use chicken powder made for KFC, not different powder. You still can use that, but not good as chicken powder. But I respect this guy's effort. Respect. Quick Google search later, these are the ingredients. Okay. So in a bowl, mix your flour, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cornstarch, and baking powder. For the sauce version, in a pan, heat up some oil, fry up some garlic, add in some good ketchup, gochujang, soy sauce, and brown sugar. Just let that all come together and simmer. You can then adjust your taste. For extra heat, I like putting in some gochujaru Don't or some put the red hot this. this is great flakes. so far. Add a little bit of water and... Oh, water, the not the vinegar. The right yes! First time, no vinegar recipe. I really like this guy and this video. In another pan for fun, okay. let's add some another oil, sauce. garlic and ginger, rice wine vinegar, lemon that? juice, miso paste, soy sauce, and honey. Mix all this that together and finish off with some butter. Butter at the this end, will be a fun not Korean ingredient. Ah, maybe this is his creation. But please say that this is your creation. Otherwise, people think this is Korean. No, 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 no. Now that our chicken is fully marinated, instead of creating a batter separately, he's making we are going batter to be doing in, the in the same bowl. bowl. See, he studied the Korean With the chicken, chicken add in some milk and some of our frying powder. This should feel thick, like a pancake batter. Now, before you tell me this is wrong, I've watched tons of Korean chicken videos, way too many. Um, and this is something that apparently is very common. So I will listen to the Korean chefs, if that's okay. Well, you can use milk for tenderizing, remove bad smell. But if you use alcohol already, you don't have to actually. Cause I think milk make better, less crispy. Korean chef. Chicken should be covered by now. Then one by one, you yes, transfer better, the batter mix and same the powder. Dry fry yes! Powder. Yes! Normal bullshit KFC recipe. Now time for the first fry. Bring up your oil to about 150 degrees. I'm using rice bran oil here. And gently place in your chicken without overcrowding the pot, obviously. This will go on for about 10 minutes. Obviously, the smaller boneless pieces will cook quicker, maybe around five to eight minutes. Once done, rest for about 15 minutes, get your oil back up to around 175 to 180 degrees, and give it your second fry. Yes, blanching, the chicken fry is it cooked. again. Correct. All we are going for here is color and texture. All Korean chicken shops will double fry their chicken, sometimes even frying it three times. Once done with our first batch, let rest somewhere uh, where the excess oil can drip look off at that chicken. and serve. For the ones with sauce, just heat up the sauce and toss in your freshly fried chicken. You can top it off with some roasted sesame seeds or some sliced scallions if you want to be fancy. Fancy? Not for me, not for any Asians. Ah, he's half Asian, so half fancy for him. For the lemon one, just uh, a little bit of lemon zest. I don't know very, about very that sauce, way. so pass. Okay, eating time. And oh, she's white. That is good acting. I mean, that chicken looks good, but, but how she eat is like... Oh, she's actually actress and singer, mother, and TV host, and Curtis. No wonder why she eat extra deliciously, like... 사랑해요. Oh. 사랑해요 means I love you in Korea. Maybe for her husband, not for me and you. Wow, this video has really good editing. Impressive. I think that's enough. Look like having time travel with chicken. But you know what? For a seven and a half minute video, he only cooked three and a half a minute or a little bit more. But he got about 2.6 million subscribers. Even he never cooked this food before. How about my cooking video? I think because of his looking. Look at that. He's a handsome guy and her wife. But my cooking video has good recipe too, but didn't work well. I'm pretty sure because of my looking. YouTube is not a restaurant, it's a video platform. So. Hello. Cleaning. 
face. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I just want to have operation on my face. Okay, you can be our hospital first. Mm -hmm. Can I get your name and number, please? Uh, my name is. And my phone number is. Is there any specific part you want to have a surgery on? Yes. Um, whole face. Okay, I really like this video and they are looking. I really appreciate his effort to make proper chicken. I will subscribe this channel and if you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel. And then this channel, mine first. So I'm Chef Good Choice and hope you enjoy my video. Please see you next time with different video. Bye bye.